This video shows you how to enter wall, partition, and door data in CHVAC. Now let's enter some walls. Since our first wall is a regular exterior wall and not a partition or a door, we can first click the drop down help button for the wall type input. Since we have not yet defined any master walls, the list is empty. Click the first row and the Define Master Wall dialog will open. This time we will click the button to the left of the first input to open the window that gives us a little help in defining our master wall. This one happens to be a block wall, so click the Block tab. Now let's select a few of these options to define our master wall. And now click OK to accept our changes on this dialog and close it. Click OK again to create our master wall number one. The height of wall one is the same as the default height of 10 feet that we entered on the general project data window. So all we need to do for its dimensions is to enter its length. The default ground reflectance of 20% is fine for this wall. So now let's set the direction to west. This room's wall 2 will be a partition instead of an exterior wall, so the first thing we need to do is set the direction input to P for partition. We need to do that before we select the wall type. Select P for partition from the list. Now that we've defined this row as being for a partition wall, we can select the partition type in the wall type input. Notice that the drop down help is now different than it was for this room's wall 1, since it now lists the master partitions instead of the master walls. Select Master Partition 1. Since we can see that Master Partition 1 has not been defined, the Define Master Partition window will open. Let's again click the button to the left of the first input to open the window that makes it easy to define our Master Partition. Since we are defining a partition, the selections this time are a little different than on the Select Wall CLTD dialog that we used for this room's Wall 1. Click the Frame tab. Notice that although there are three required inputs for a master partition, U-Value, Cool TD, and Heat TD, this dialog only sets the U-Factor input. We will have to set the Cool TD and Heat TD inputs separately. And click OK to accept our changes on this dialog and close it. The Cool TD and Heat TD inputs set the difference in temperature between the conditioned space and the unconditioned space on the other side of the partition. Let's enter 15 degrees Fahrenheit for cooling and 25 for heating. Click OK to finally define our master partition. This partition's height is the same as the default wall height of 10 feet, so all we need to do for its dimensions is to enter its length of 12 feet. This room's wall 3 is actually a door, so in the same way that we needed to first set the direction for the partition, we need to first set the direction input to indicate that this room's wall 3 is a door. Select D to indicate that this wall is actually a door. We will also need to add a 1 after the D to tell the program that the door is located in this room's wall number 1. Now add 1 to make it so this door is located in this room's wall 1. Now that we've entered D1 as the direction, let's select the master wall type. We need to define a new master wall entry for this door. 
so click Master Wall 2 from the list. Since that master wall has not yet been defined, the Define Master Wall dialog will open. And let's define Master Wall 2 by clicking the left button. Since this master wall is actually a door, the tabs here won't do us much good since doors are less complex. So we'll leave the Custom tab selected and make our selections below. Click the drop down Help button for the ASHRAE Group input. The ASHRAE group code selections go from A to G, with A walls being the most thermally massive, taking the longest to cook in the sunlight before they cause a cooling load. Since we are defining a door, let's choose the lightest weight code, G, which tells the program that the door is very thermally small and light and will produce a cooling load quickly. Enter a U value of 0.3 for this door. We could use the U factor calculator program that was included when CHVC was installed, but for simplicity in this video, we'll just enter a typical door U value. We'll leave the color at the most common selection of dark. And let's enter a description so that we will be sure to remember later that this master wall is actually a door. Click OK to accept our changes and close this dialog. And finally, click OK to define our master wall too, which is actually a door. Since this room's wall 3 is a door, we need to enter both its length and its height, overriding the default height of 10 feet. Thanks for watching.